with, and I, I can say this for Marla and I with all of my heart, my, my dear brother, Elliot, and my dear sister, Courtney, and our journeys together, and the beautiful hearts and souls you both have, and how you both show up in the world every day continues to fill Marla and I up because you are such that light and that love and how you live with intention and how we've seen your journey unfold. And Elliot, I love that you and I, as we were just talking about prior, go back 10 years and why we see why we were brought into each other's lives. We never know at that moment, but we clearly see it now. And then the blessing that you were divinely guided to Courtney, who I can actually now say your fiance, Miss um, <laughs> Courtney, who is also the biggest heart and oh my goodness, and what you do for so many others in this world through Scottsdale Recovery Center and the continued souls that both of you bring into our lives to touch with, with the tree of life, the intention stick, not just friends, but actually your family. And, and this is family. And Marla and I are honored to call you family. So Elliot and Courtney, this is the world. World, this is Courtney and Elliot. Hello world. Hello world. We are so honored and blessed to be here today. Thank you so much. Oh, we're, we are the ones that feel blessed. And, and what you guys are doing to help so many others and be such a an ambassador of the tree of life it's there's no words to describe the love and i know you both know that from marla and i and uh, even though i'm gonna start i usually say ladies first but i gotta kind of i gotta have elliot get a word in because normally i'm the chatty kathy as courtney is and marla sits and holds space and elliot usually sits and holds space as courtney is always talk yeah. right it's such a yin yang here which i love so elliot i i want you if you may just share a little bit about your journey and when i first told you about the the tree of life and the intention stick and i remember it very well but i want you to share it through your eyes your heart and and what that means to you and how you've been living that life Absolutely. And first of all, thank you both for having us. We feel blessed and honored and we love you both. Um, little, not to be sidetracked or go back in time, but there was a time where I would go see Scott for fun watches and jewelry and send people to get some watches. And, you know, that was that. And those are objects and they're great and they're beautiful. But about three or four years ago, Scott started telling me, you guys were telling me about different projects you were working on and the idea of the tree of life and the movement. And it was ironic because the timing of it was when I was also going down a journey of studying anything from yoga to meditation, to shamanism, to religions of the world, and why certain religions are persecuted, why certain races aren't treated equally, why certain kids don't have the opportunities that we take for granted in our lives and in you know Scottsdale and Phoenix and Arcadia and it really kind of opened my eyes up to not only what I was missing, but what I've been searching for. And when, when you first showed me the intention stick and the way I could pick out the words and even the prototype and the original version and what you, what you want to do with it, I immediately just, I just wanted one and I wanted to go from there and see how it would work. And my own story, as much as meditation and yoga and mindfulness and working out and eating healthy and all that stuff is great. It's amazing the power of just changing out your words, picking an intention, whether it's for the day, the week, the month. And I also sometimes, you know, we, we all live busy lives and get sidetracked. I've noticed that if I don't change it out for two weeks, three weeks, I become more, not agitated, but I'm not as grounded. So it's important for me like last weekend before our little trip, it was important for me to pick out some new words, really think about what intentions I wanted and how I wanted to give my energy to the world and how I wanted to give my energy to other people. And my thing with it and bringing my mom and dad to you and you know other friends is 
realizing that it's not just for us that wear it, but it's to give those other people a chance to feel our energy, our intention, and not only our wishes and goals and dreams for them, but to let them realize that they also have the opportunity to have these same intentions and not just wish upon it, but make these things a part of their daily life. And that's kind of the story of why we're mine. Um, I still love the yoga and the eating healthy and all that stuff, but the intention stick really does ground me. It's great at night sometimes when I'm getting ready to pick up my outfit for the next day or what my plans are for the weekend to kind of, I, I pick out some words and change up what I want to focus on. It's like kind of like going to school. I relearn about myself and what really means what to me and how I can impact others in my daily life. It might be a random stranger at the gas station or a family that I come across just in our daily lives and talking to them about the stick and what it means to me. It's just, it's fun to share. And I, I can see how it lights up people's not only energy and spirit, but it, it gives people something else to kind of think about and go home and, you know, plant their own intentions for, for their life and their friends. Elliot, that was so beautiful. And thank you for sharing that. You just such a beautiful new way that we learn from you of how you're living your life and, and so much to unpack there in such a beautiful way. And it just was, oh, just thank you for filling us up because it just felt that because that is your heart, that is your soul. And that is how you live your life, a life of intention and, and your balance, right? We, you, you've been practicing yoga and mindfulness and how everything you shared just now, but as the world, sometimes we're, we're still feeling something is missing, right? There's still a hole uh, and we can't figure that out. We're like, but I'm, I'm, I'm meditating, I'm doing yoga and I hiked this mountain and I went to, and I'm still feeling lost or not complete or, or as you said, that balance. And I love, because it's not saying stop doing yoga or being mindfulness or learning different cultures and religions. That's our soul. That It's why we're here, as we all know, is the tree of life. That's the evolution of consciousness. And you, as Courtney did as well, but you filled that, that hole, so to speak. And, and you choosing your intentions and switching out your intentions and, and just continuing to grow or different comments. I just love that it is always growing from you from within because that's what's coming from your heart and soul as you do meet all of these amazing people that you, again, no randomness, bump into or share the story because you are impacting lives you are touching and helping souls. And we don't realize that sometimes, but just as you said, your heart, your energy affects entire rooms or communities. And, and again, we don't usually talk about these things because we don't talk about spirituality or woo. And, and it's actually science, third law of physics. You both know that. There's no, ooh, I'm going to win the lotto. And ooh, doo -doo -doo. no, it's, it's, the intention we live by, we believe those words. Yeah, and I, I love how you how you said that um, you choose your intentions uh, as part of your routine, in a sense. Yes. When you're picking out your 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 clothes for the next day, your outfit, you know that it, it's that significant to you in your life. Mm -hmm. And it should be for all of us, for every choice we make, even though that choice or decision we're making may be trivial, um, you know, as easy as maybe what I'm gonna eat, um, it, there's all intention behind it, right? It, it, it puts us on a direction mm -hmm. and, it, and it ramps up our passion in life and, and it keeps negativity um, at bay. And so when we have direction, right? Because most people are lost. So, and that's part of the problem. So we can have the meditation mm -hmm. or all these other pieces that are important and vital to living. But if we don't have intention behind it, then how do we know where we're going? Mm -hmm. And, and we start questioning everything else that comes up. But when you set that intention and know it is 
why you're doing what you're doing. It feels so good. Well, and the one last thing about how I kind of look at it is we all see people that possibly want to be pushed in a direction or, or need help or are looking to connect the dots. And it's easy to donate or say, go get them, but you can't pour from an empty cup. So if you don't take care of yourself first and know what your intentions are and make sure you're living by that first, it's just words. It's just money. You, you got to make sure you're doing it first before you pass it on to others. Oh, it, exactly. You're, and, and it goes back again mm -hmm. that all these other pieces or, or, you know, that we're working on, whether, you know, for our well-being, our well-living are significant. However, if we don't love ourselves, right, because we're taught not to really, but if we don't love ourselves, then how can we love anyone around us mm -hmm. and then our community and, and the world? How do we look at it if we don't love ourselves? So it's, it is, it's very important. It's so per it is so perfect. Mm -hmm. I, we we share the same words, and that's why we are brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And and that exactly what we're talking about right now is to share with everyone in this world, right? To inspire, uplift, help someone get through something maybe much more difficult than what someone else is going through, and that's what does bring us that bliss, that happiness. It's not I gave a guy a dollar on a street or I wrote a check for charity. And don't get me wrong, that's still wonderful, but we say sometimes that's self-gratification and ego. But when you and Courtney can have that soul-to-soul -soul connection and let that other person know they are loved, they matter, they have purpose, everything we talk about every day, and you watch them fill up and understand they got it. Mm -hmm. And they move forward and they're going to do the same thing for another as you continue, both of you continue to see this every day because of the souls you're touching and the endless gifts and people you continue to send in to be a part of something much bigger than all of us because you already know it's not about Marla and I it is about us collectively in this world and and we're we're are we are waking up these beautiful souls they all want to be awake they just don't know how and how you explain that Elliot wow I love you that was so perfect and you already know how much I love you but thank you and, and of course, our, our dear sister now, Courtney, gets to actually get a word in. And she's like sitting on her hands because I know you're, you're like <laughs> me. And I'm like, da, 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 and, and I'm I, like, how am I going to follow that? That was too good. <laughs> no, no. And, and sometimes I just love when Marla speaks, when I let her get a word in. Um, <laughs> and she gives me elbows and, you know, nudges. It's all good. But Courtney, you as Elliot, have the most beautiful, biggest, giving heart. And, and we also love you so much for that because what you already do for Scottsdale Recovery Center here and helping many women and men go through the things, the pains, the obstacles, addiction, whatever that may be for that individual. Mm -hmm. and, and you do, you give of yourself every day and you're witnessing others going through very difficult and challenging times mm -hmm. almost at bottom mm -hmm. right that they're thankfully at least coming to you because they they want to change and and the honor not just what you do but all of the the whole team has come in for intention six and then the owner and has come in and how it's impacted and changed his life. And here you and all of them are helping so many, but as we've had these conversations, as Elliot and Marlon, I just talked about, we cannot possibly give what we do not have here. We're trying to help others get through something maybe really difficult, but we forget to take care of ourselves first. And, and we'll go to that story after because we talked about it earlier today but i want to take us back how we met because of elliot and the journey you guys coming together and i'll never forget the, the first day you came in and and how this just changed and touched your life so so again curtain versus me this is all about you girl <laughs> no i just remember elliot telling me that he wanted me to meet you 
and uh, for you to show me what you guys were working on. And, you know, he had me go to the website. And as soon as I met you, I felt it in my soul that we were supposed to meet. I really did. And like Mar what Marla was saying is that you truly have to love yourself before loving anyone else. You have to be your own soulmate. That is all you have for the rest of your life. So I had to fill my cup up and my love and my energy and be my own soulmate before I could find Mr. Clark here. Um, and that was a journey for me, you know, um, being in addiction and in recovery, that's tough. You know, you don't, it's hard to love yourself in times like that. And so for me personally, it's been an amazing journey. I, I'm able to pass this message along to so many people and to see them after they come back visiting with you and just, it's like a rebirth, you know, they come back to life, that spark in their eye, that energy and that, you know, yearning for life and to help as many people as possible. And it's, we're all believers, you know, and it's, I, when I don't have it on, I feel it. I can feel like I'm missing something. I'm like, oh, I forgot to put it on. And I know I will be off the whole day. <laughs> and like you guys were saying, it's, I have to be able to fill myself up before I can give to anyone else at work. And it's, in our line, it is so difficult to see these people at their bottom, the very worst of the worst of their worst days. And to see they have no spark or no life, they come in soulless and broken. And to watch them grow and change has been the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I'll never forget we had, I put mine on and I had the word courage in for the very first day. I get to work, a past client had returned after a relapse and she was wearing her intention stick. And I was so touched by it that we started talking and she said the one word she couldn't find was courage. So I took mine off and I knew right away I had to give her my courage. Oh. I had enough courage, I needed to give it to her and pass that along to her. And she is doing so amazing. He has flourished and has been, I mean, I'm just so touched as what it's done to so many people around me. Wow. That, <laughs> I know. I, try, I know. We, as we know, there's a lot of laughing and crying and, and celebration. And, and that's our hearts weeping, right? That our hearts are actually open. And this is, that's one that the selflessness of your heart and soul is is what you'd continue to give and and as we talked about today and there's so many other stories i will need a sleepover if we really start sharing all the stories just from you and elliot alone like oh my goodness i know it's funny but it's true but we even though yes we have this and we live by this and and we're tested we still go through those challenges and obstacles, excuse me, obstacles every day. And you giving that beautiful soul your own courage because you had courage, you, you had it, like you were good and, and you took it out of your own intention stick and gave her that intention to place in hers. Wow, and I know the story because she is incredible and doing well and flourishing and just, a whole new a whole new person like holy shift right <laughs> and um and many 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 others as well and i i know we'll we'll talk more about this but i want i want you to share as recent as today even though yes you've been living with this every day and yes i love that that when you take it off you feel depleted and that's really that's huge because people don't understand this has nothing to do with the piece of jewelry because right we say it's worn on the inside for your heart and soul but we say every one of these intention sticks has its own heartbeat it does it becomes a part of you it's your energy it's the mirror image of your own vessel and when you don't or accidentally forget to put it on after and you, you already know everything's waterproof so you're good but we sometimes forget and you're like, wow, I totally feel like 
drained or unplugged and and I Marla had that happen one time she took it off when she was swimming and she forgot to put it right back on and she went she's like wow I really feel drained and she went to grab her intention stick and she's like oh my goodness I don't have it on and immediately put it on and it took her several hours almost to like reboot yeah. right because the energy it keeps of you and it's always there for you but I want to I want to share a real story which I know is hard but talk about your act of kindness just from yesterday for another beautiful sister coming in uh, that you so graciously gifted her an intention stick and how it changed her life and how you shared I want you to share that but I also want you to share what we talked about which was also hard for you today and what took place because I want not for me because I can easily share it but this is from you okay so I have a co-worker she's the most amazing human I've ever met and I have this gift where I know when someone's really struggling even if they don't want to tell me or they're not showing it I can feel it and her birthday was coming up so me and a few of the ladies at work decided she needed to come see scott <laughs> she needed that i'm a scott pusher <laughs> <laughs> it's okay keep pushing uh, you hashtag. push hashtag that's awesome oh. <laughs> so um i set it up for her to come see you and today she came in with a new light in her eyes it was honestly like a new person was in there um, we had a very tough day at work and I'm on the front line. So if anything ever happens with any of our clients, good, bad, or indifferent, I'm that crisis person that they go to and it's, it's draining. You know, I have to put my armor on and a lot of the times it's very tough. And in this moment today, she was really there for me and she was my peace and my solitude. And it was, it was beautiful to see that. And when I asked her how everything went in her experience, she had to take a minute to try to even get gather her words. And she goes, Courtney, I, I can't explain it. It's It was an experience that I needed to have. It was the most beautiful thing. And I finally feel like I'm a part of something. And that just like hit me in my gut. I'm like, wow, you know, this is, to see that miracle happen in that, that shift just overnight is, it's amazing to see, you know, and even with my CEO that I sent in, I knew he was struggling and having a difficult time. And he came back and he broke down. You know, he always has his armor up, always Superman. And he broke down and he didn't know that he needed that until he met with you. You know, and you really put things into perspective for him. He wears it every single day now. I mean, almost everyone at work has one. We're all wearing it. <laughs> oh, and, wow. You know, we send a lot of our clients that we know are struggling or if they hit a milestone in recovery and we've seen some beautiful things happen in their life too. And we're just forever grateful for you guys, seriously. Oh, that is so, again, there's not enough love to express how Marlon and I feel about you both. It's just oozes. <laughs> it, it is. And, and, actually yes that um just to share that what took place from last night today how that beautiful soul was really struggling and i know she was and you also hearing it from me now you did you watched her shift her entire not just consciousness but she filled back up and you literally watched it almost shape change to so to speak because you you saw that light that happiness that joy that she was so depleted of and now here as you live this you know you were going through your challenges today which again remember we talked about it's okay not to be okay yeah. we're human but it allows us to grow as we go through those challenges and experience and lessons because it does make us stronger and it makes us who we are but as you were maybe on a little lower moment today, she was able to pick you up and, and say, you got me last night, I got you today, and yeah. we're good, because that's family. And what you said about a, some, a part of something, yeah. it is so powerful. And this is what 
sometimes people don't understand. I know you and Elliot do, but we are a part of this collective. The tree of life not only encompasses the world, but it encompasses the entire universe. And all of our souls in this world are connected, but we need to reconnect to understand that we are already one we just forgot. Right, well, that is the tree of life. And what happens, and I think we all agree that when we're, even when we're children, we start hearing certain words, whether it's from family or neighbors or teachers or church, wherever you are and someone says something to you, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you all amount to nothing. And pretty soon we start believing these words, right? Well, those people must be right. I am nothing. I'm not love. I, I, I'm not pretty. You know, so we start believing these thoughts and we take all of this with us through to our adult life. And we carry this pain. We carry this pain with us. And, and we poo-poo it as adults. We, we poo-poo because we think, ah, oh, that's nothing, right? Oh, that didn't mean anything. But truly, if now we scale it out, to the billions of people that are on this planet that are car still carrying mm -hmm. all that weight on their shoulders, it's no wonder their light isn't shining. It's no wonder they've given up, right? But what you're able to do, what you're able to do is to find that little light inside of them that's still there yes. and, and you give them back their hope and then take that hope and bring them to faith. And, and that's what's so important is because when people find themselves at a place that why should I keep going? Because I don't feel a part of anything, but it is, it, we are the tree of life because we're taught that I'm better than you, right? And you're gonna be nothing. But what the truth is that we're all one. We, we, all, we all take, right, from the same source, we're, we're all receiving from the same source. It's the tree. But the minute, the minute that branch is broken off from the tree, it cannot exist. Even though it's now two, it can't exist without the tree. It just can't. When you're walking down through the park, you don't say, look at that branch. You say, look at the tree. Yeah. But everyone feels yeah. separate from one another. Mm -hmm. And we have to remind each other that we're, we're not, we're all, we're all one. We just forgot. Lovely. That's, you guys, we just gotta keep reminding them. Mm -hmm. we, exactly. and, and we are, because that's what we get up each day and say, what beautiful souls, what beautiful people will be brought in our lives mm -hmm. to, to help, right? And, and, and that's, again, we say this every day and I'll say it until I transition, that that's what brings us that happiness, that bliss to help someone else. Mm -hmm. It's not saying quit your job, become a priest, a rabbi, a guru, a yogi, a nun, uh, whatever. No, just the simple acts of kindness, right? To, to just let someone else in this life know that you're listening or you said hi, or open the door, or how's your day, or send a text message, or call them that you haven't talked to them in 20 years, and just to let someone else know that you love them. And I'm gonna go back a step because, wow, because I just love how we always have this just pure love fest when we're all together. But I wanna go back to Elliot for a second because Elliot, I wanna ask you what, if you, I know you know, what intentions do you have today? What intentions are you living with today? Trust and love are the two I have today. And oh. I know that the tree of life, we've been talking about it and we're all one and all the souls, but the other, take it just a little bit further if possible. Please. I also think that when your intentions are met with actions and you believe what your intentions are, mm -hmm. you'll also realize the earth, the animals, the, there's so many things that we take for granted, we neglect, and we are all 
like Marla said, it's, we're all using the same source. There's only so much food and water. There's only so much sunlight and you start respecting not only your fellow humans of all races and all religions, but the planet itself and the animals and everything else because we're here together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. People... And we couldn't exist without those things. Right. And we do take it for granted. And all those things were here before we were and they'll be here after we're gone too. Right, that's why we also plant a tree in every person's honor when they get an intention stick to give back to Mother Earth, right? As Marla just said, trees have been here since creation and they're gonna be long, long here after us, I can tell you that. But also trees are alive and they communicate and protect and heal one another, but all of our souls are connected in this world. And, and that's so beautiful because we do, we take things for granted. We don't just walk outside. We just get in the car, go to work. And again, matrix versus slow down, wake up with a sunset. As you see, I do watch the sunset, sunrise, listen to the trees, the birds, the everything. When you start slowing down and quieting this, a whole nother world open up. It does, it opens up for you. And it's in front of your, it's literally right here. But this, the, the, the monkey brain, oh. trying to take us out of that bliss and that peace. So I, I love, because you know Marla and I permanently keep the word trust in ours, right? Because if we don't trust the journey, nothing else matters. Right. We're always being guided. Everything always works out. Sometimes those lessons are hard to receive, those challenges, the obstacles, but everything always works out. We're, we're given, thankfully, a new day today. Let go of the past, can't change it. Send it with love, say thank you. We're not promised tomorrow, right? So live every day the fullest. I also like what, what Elliot said, because we, we tend to take everything for granted, like Elliot said. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember that we're blessed for all the blessings that we do have. Yes. Because we're always so worried about what someone else has and we forget about what we already have. We have so much. Mm -hmm. We are all so blessed, mm -hmm. truly. Oh, and wow, did talk about validation. And okay, and so you have trust and you love. and love and why love? which I know, but. Well, honestly, the, the trust is for me to remind myself to trust the process, trust what I've learned, to trust what I'm doing. Yes. To make sure I let people know, you know, Courtney's on the front lines every day. She gets a chance to do that, but I just want to make sure whether it's holding the door open for someone at the store, letting someone know, you know, that, hey, I can tell you've been working out, you look great, let someone know, whatever, just, making sure I share love with others and, yeah. and share that. The trust is for me, the love is to give. That's, that's why I have those right now. I, I just, that's awesome. That's awesome because you can, you're filled up with that because you can then give it away. Same thing with peace. If we don't have peace for ourselves, how can we, we give peace away? If we're not kind to ourselves, how can we give kindness away? So I, I, again, no pun intended, maybe a little, but I love that you chose love because that's everything, everything goes away when we have love, right? It overcomes everything in this world. And, and that's why this is pure love. Right. And, oh, thank you for sharing that. And of course, Courtney, you know, I'm gonna ask you what intentions you have in yours. I and have, I, I have be, let be compassion and gratitude. Um, I always have to live in gratitude every day. Yes. Passion is to be able to give to others and be let be is just to let know that the process is going to happen the way it's going to happen. And there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to sit back and it what will be will be. That's so perfect. And, and it is so true because you know, we, I know we've talked about this. We said, what makes God laugh? Telling him your plans, <laughs> right? So 
be, everything's perfect, yeah. right? As, as difficult or the challenges that we are witnessing in this world, it's all gonna unfold and everything is going to be perfect. It has for thousands of years. It's, as we see this world cleansing itself, we say the reset button was hit pretty hard, but it's also allowing people to maybe understand for the first time they haven't been happy right, to look for the answers now from within themselves versus the external world, especially what you do for recovery, Courtney, because it's not the answer. It just numbs it or puts a Band-Aid on it or it's a brief temporary feeling of goodness, but it also could end in tragedy. So we're, we have to look for our truth, our authentic selves in our lives. And as we know, we have to speak our truth and be our authentic selves and stop pushing all of that junk down and stop saying i'm fine i'm fine we're not fine because if you know we tease and say if you've got the miracle cure to i'm fine we want it right. so um oh my goodness i don't i what i just so yeah. excited they were I, here I, I would love if elliot wouldn't mind i just had one more question um yeah. before you mentioned that um, and, and we agree with what you said, but I would love for you to maybe explain it to someone who doesn't understand. We were talking about intention and you mentioned that, that you can choose your intentions, but you have to put them into action. And I was hoping that if someone's listening who doesn't know about the intention stick and is just learning what, what you can explain what you meant by that. Well, when I pick out my intentions, you know, let's just take mindfulness. Mm -hmm. If I pick out mindfulness, I'm going to think about it for a couple of minutes, what that means to me, what I need to work on, what I'm bad at, what I'm good at, what I can improve on. So then that next day, that next week, if I'm wearing mindfulness, I want to practice what I'm preaching. I want to be more mindful of, I don't know what this person's going through. I might not know where they're coming from. I need to, maybe I need to listen more. Maybe I need to ask more questions. Maybe I need to understand that their background is not the same as mine. Maybe they didn't have the same opportunities. Maybe they had different opportunities than I had. And it, it allows me to put that into action versus just saying, oh, I'm mindfulness or, oh, I'm grounded. Or it makes me actually apply the verbs and the, the actions we're choosing. Living your truth. So perfect. Thank what? you. Yes, thank you. And and if I may add to that, and I, and I know you've heard Marla and I talk about this and whoever is listening, we've spoke about this before, but it's the same thing if we're reading, whether a spiritual book or a religious book. And if we're just programmed to do spiritual prayers or, or religious prayers once a day, three times a day, five times a day, and we're just rushing through it and we're just reading words, then they are just words. Same thing with your intention. If we're just choosing a word, oh, I, I'm going to be mindful, I'm going to be spiritual, or I'm going to be healthy, or I'm going to be courage. And if, as you said, Elliot, if we don't put them into action, whether it's an intention or the spiritual reading or the prayers we're reading, then they're just words and they're not being heard, they're not being felt. Because whether someone says God, the universe, the source, creator, light, spirit, whatever that is to that individual, they're not being heard because they're just words. Right. But when they're felt and we are believing our words and our actions, they're being heard. But as Courtney, the be let it be, which we've talked about, the but if our vessels, our heart, our souls, our our own vessels are so full of our past and all the things, as Marla said, that we carry forward with us during our whole life. And we're asking for new things and new blessings, but I'm going to church and synagogue and mosque and I'm doing acts of kindness and I'm doing charity and I gave a guy a dollar on the street and a million things. And I want new things and I want new blessings and I want goodness in my life. They're just overflowing because we're still full of our past. And as hard as it may be, which we've talked about, to let go of our past, to forgive those that may have hurt us and send it with love and send them with blessings and prayers because 
those people also could be going through a lot of horrificness and they need that love and that forgiveness, even if they're still not with us in this lifetime. So we can empty our vessels to say, thank you for all those gifts and lessons that you gave me to bring me to the next place in my life and make me who I am today. So thank you. I let you go because you no longer serve me. So now we can receive all of the new things that we're asking for. I and tell my clients all the time is that, and I've told you this, I, I can't change my past and I wouldn't want to. Mm -hmm. It has put me on this journey. It has made me the woman I am today. Yes. Any trauma or anything bad that's ever happened to me, I've always used it for strength and motivation to just keep going. And yes. you can't let your past define you because that's not who you are. No. You have to keep going. It doesn't matter how many times you've been knocked down. It just matters you're going to get back up and how you're going to do it that last time. Yes. We say it's not what happens to you. It's what you do with it. Absolutely. And on one thing to add to that, it's not just the people that may have hurt us with words or may have not served us anymore, or people that may have harmed us. It's acknowledging that we may have harmed others and we no. also made bad choices. I mean, I, I know I made some really poor choices 15, 20 years ago. And, you know, it's about that is your past. Learn from it and let's let's go. I, I absolutely, Elliot, love that. And, and so just every hair on my body standing up for the validation that, as you just said, we also have to forgive ourselves because we are so tough on ourselves and, and we have to give ourselves love because what you just said, I, oh my goodness, I'm so far from perfect. I, I, I am like anyone else in this world. And yes, I made tons of mistakes from childhood and adult and teenager and the things I've done 100%. But it, exactly what you said, it does not define who you are right now because those things may, we may not have known better or we were caught up with a group of people or whatever that may be for the individual, but it doesn't make us who we are at this moment right now. People change. One, we're forgiven a million times over. Who is someone else to say, I don't forgive you? Because I made a mistake, what, 20 years ago or 30 years or 40 years ago or yesterday, right? Forgiveness, let it go. Right. And as you said, you learn from the lessons and and hopefully we don't repeat those mistakes. It's also forgiveness for ourselves or, or choices that we've made, forgiving others, but also mm. remember, remembering to forgive ourselves for the things we haven't done. Right. That was a powerful story, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, this has been awesome. I appreciate you guys having seriously. us on here so much. It's been great sharing. Oh, my goodness. One, there's not enough I can share or Marley can share about what you mean to us in our lives and, and, and how important you are to, to the Tree of Life. And it, it, honored to call you ambassadors and family and brother and sister. And you already know our sign off. So one, Courtney and Elliot, mm -hmm. we are sending you so much light and love and everything you both need in your life in your journey together and sending you both blessings and intentions of gratitude light and love we love you we love you we love you we honor you we honor you we honor you thank you so much thank oh. you thank you for being our teachers yes you guys thanks for listening Mm -hmm. mm, we'll see you soon for for real hugs soon you know that right. uh, don't forget to hug yourselves right <laughs> seriously right we think oh, people need that seriously hug yourself if we can't hug, you already know i'm the over hugger cry baby but if we can't hug during this time hug yourself and say i love you to yourself right you already know we love you but I know you understand. So have Thank such a blessed night. We'll see you soon. Yeah, I think Elliot. Oh, Elliot, what were you going to say, my brother? 
No, no, thanks, thanks, thanks Marlon. Thanks, Scott. Love you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And you never have to say thanks, right? It's with Bye. pleasure. It's with love. We'll Bye. see you soon. Bye, Bye guys.